total of $140 more okay. to mail the check to the IRS. So 50 plus 50 is 100, we need 40 more bucks. We need $40 more. So if you made a check for $100, then we'd have $10 left in the bank. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Yahoo. I'm going to write on this bank statement that Brett is gave a $50 check plus 20 cash. And Gary, Hold on. okay, and then we're, we're going to be good. Now I can't do the banking. We need Dave or Brittany, who are both out of town, who are both out of town to do the banking. But then one of them can write the check. Okay. Oh, here you go. Here's 150 bucks. Oh, Gary, you're the top. All right. All right. Yay. 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 Yes, okay. Yes. Yay. Now, like Gary is so fond of saying, we really appreciate yeah. both of you doing this. Yeah. Super, Gary. No. Yay. Okay, so then Brittany goes on to say, we have to pay the accountant $600, but I don't care if we slow pay the accountant $600. That's, we pay him slow. You know, pay yeah, him. I would like to add, I don't know where she got the idea. He was doing it for a time, though. That was never discussed. It was always we were going to pay him. And it was always, it would end up being a total of about 1000 bucks. I'd give 600 would be a bargain because the last 501c3 I was pushing through mm -hmm. and ran about $1,000. Yeah. I, yeah. I thought I remember the, the discussion being that he'd agreed to do it for about 600 or yeah. Right. So yeah. That was going to be the was, deal price. It wasn't going to be free, <coughs> but it was going to be. Because yeah. I remember Brett saying that's a good price. Yeah. Right, the, the thousand that I'm remembering was for him and the lawyer, and right. that's about what it is. That's about what it is for right. him so and the lawyer. I have so. no idea where okay. Brittany got the idea that it was pro bono. That was never discussed. Okay. All right. So, does that help? I hope that yes, all helps. Yes, 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 that gets right. us over the IRS. And once we have the IRS out of our hair and they tell us the number back, then we can really start collecting money, you know, yeah. where people will make donations and, and it'll be tax deductible and. And then we'll easily get the six hundred dollars that we owe the lawyer, and we can get, you know, insurance and all of that. So Yahoo, Yippee! All right. um, now we need to keep track of, and it's not sh clear to me that Brittany's been keeping track of the in-kind donations. So John paid for our Georgia River Network membership, and he paid for our website um, hosting and. Gary paid for paper and ink for stuff. For stuff, uh, yeah. So you know, we'll, here, here's is a, putting in all sorts of stuff towards the canoe race. Right. Well, we just need to keep a running list of that because in the end, Walson needs to write back a receipt to say you gave us this so that you can write it off, put well, it on your taxes. I'm writing it off anyway. Okay. So if the IRS can test it, they can test it. Okay. I got checks. I'm writing a check. I'm putting yeah, donation yeah, on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the in kind stuff, Gary. Yeah, that's, I know. that's, you know. No, that's fine. So if. And the secretary helps keep track of the in kind stuff. Yeah. Make sure these things are in the minutes. Okay. Right. And, and we can go back through the minutes because, you know, one of, one of those, somebody mailed in a whole bunch of stuff where we had all donated. So. It would be nice, though, to get the checks cashed in a timely manner. Yes. Yes. Please. Please. So, okay. <laughs> That's my suggestion of earlier. Perhaps we need a uh, sort of a treasury committee to make sure things like that happen. Well, or maybe we need an assistant treasurer. I don't know. Um, we have one in Valasta and one in Tifton, and, and we picked a bank that was in both places so that either one of them could do the banking, and now they're both out of pocket so it's not really helping. So Dave will be Dave will be back Sunday. Sunday. So okay. Okay, will you still be here then Sunday? Yeah. Can okay. You, can I give can you I give this? It, yeah, I can give it to Dave. Okay, and then this is no the problem. This so is if you wrote down the, the Gary will get mm -hmm. the checks to Dave and make sure it gets deposited. Okay. And this is from, from the accountant telling us that we don't know. I'll, yeah, we I'll take care of this to Dave. Okay. Do we want to formalize that more generally, as in Gary is now on the Treasury Committee with Dave and Well, I don't know if that's a good idea or not because of the jobs. I mean, who knows when I'll be in. I hope I get this more the more case for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll, I'll take care of getting this to Dave, and I don't mind helping whatever I need to do. Okay, and I just wrote on the bottom of that statement, 
the little, you know, that you gave the 150 and that Brad gave them. So. All right. Um, All right, what's next? Well, uh, Nathan did work on a sub item uh, under eight of Treasury Committee. Do we want one or not? It sounds like we're going to be pending for us. We don't want to formalize one at this point. Let's, let's wait for next meeting and see. Yeah. And let, uh, let's put that maybe. Okay. Okay. I, see, I see Brett making every effort to get out of here. So could yeah. we. Could, membership no, fees. No, no, could, yeah, membership <laughs> fees. Could we talk about membership fees? Um, I, I, I think that we need to have something. Uh, simple, like $15 for students, $25 for individuals, $40 for families, and then have like $100 is, uh, you know, silver, and $250 is gold, and $500 is platinum, and there you have it. Um, I don't, why, don't, why don't you put something like that in writing for the at the next meeting's agenda so we can vote on it. Well, the reason why we'd like to have it now is because we want to have it by, so oh. people could join up on the 23rd. Oh, okay. Then, so um, what do you think? I, I agree with what you just said. 15 for, students. 15 for students, 25 for individuals, 40 for families, <clears throat> then 100 silver, 250 gold, 500 platinum. Okay. I would like to have some higher categories as well in no, case we have yeah. people who want to put in a lot of money. Okay, bronze at 100. And I would also suggest we do what Flint Riverkeeper does and come up with more creative names like uh, how about uh, 100 is supporting, you know, 250 is sustaining, 500 is uh, okay. tributary, 1,000 is river, 2,500 is watershed, and 5,000 is aquifer. All right, but I have one comment on that. Yeah. What if, you know, we have somebody show up, like, like Nathan here is a student, okay? Mm -hmm. $15. And, but he also does a lot of work for the website and everything else. We don't want to exclude anybody from our organization based if they don't have the ability to pay, but they're willing to work and help and contribute. So we, you know, we want to have these fees, but we don't want to, we don't want to run people off if they, you know, are willing. I mean, 15, how do you deal with that? Fifteen dollars isn't a big amount of money no, for no. somebody that's going to be. If they're really going to be participating and coming to events, that means they got a vote. They got a vote. Okay. They probably spent several hundred dollars to get their vote. Uh, yes, but Gary's point is what if they're contributing in other ways that are worth well more than 10 or 15 votes? Right. I mean, well, I don't know. I, I'm just throwing that out there for I'm asking. What do y'all, what do you think? We put in a caveat that says that the board can decide to award a membership to anyone for, you know, whatever. Or how about dropping it down to $10? Which was what I was going to suggest, but you know, his issue yeah. still comes up. Some students may not have $10 to spare. Our caveat could be... We can uh, in-kind contribution. Yeah, uh, there the you go. star yeah. in-kind contribution. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. There you go. Or a scholarship. Award a scholarship. Award a scholarship to a student. Student scholarships. Yeah. But then we do student scholarships. I like that idea. That's, that's good. I love both in-kind and student scholarships. Okay. Okay. Thanks, students. Great. We can keep bigger it's track a, if they commit. We, yes, we yes, can make the right. caveat today of a student scholarship and determine the rules at the next meeting. Yes. Yes. But so right now we have 15, 25, 40, 100, 250, 500, 2,500, and 5,000 names to be attached. Do you want colors or river tributary watershed ish things? I like names because the colors are what. Yeah. So sustaining, support, supporting, yeah. that kind of thing. We can look up on we're black water. Yes, we are. We're black water. We're, yeah. not, we're not white water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Do people have other suggestions for names? And remember, we can always change this at any other meeting yeah. as we go along. Yeah, we yeah. just need to have something so yeah, we can have a membership, membership form. form. Join walls at the thing on the 23rd, and then maybe we'll get in some money. Yeah, I agree. 
Okay. That's a good idea. I, I make I make, I make a motion we I'll accept make. this as written. I'll second it. Okay. Well, okay. what what I have written, which I think is what she's reading here, did we decide fifteen for students? Fifteen. Fifteen students, twenty-five individual, forty-dollar family, hundred-dollar supporting, two fifty sustaining, five hundred tributary, thousand river. 2,500 watershed, 5,000 aquifer. And is that for a calendar year or the date they sign the check? Because that's going to create a lot of record keeping. Calendar year? Um, yes, calendar yeah, let's year. Let's do calendar year. Starting average? Average? Starting. Calendar well, our year is, um, we incorporated on the whatever day, and our fiscal year is a July 1st year, I believe. So, a July 1st year. So anybody who signs years. up at uh, the canoe race will only get a tiny part of the year. Why, why yeah. don't we give them a full we, we them year plus? Yes, yeah, start, a full, a full start year apply plus. all monies to July forward. Right. So if they sign up uh, after six months of the year is elapsed, they get the rest of the year plus another one? No, they, if they, they sign up... They get the rest of this year plus the next one. Yeah. Be, because, because we're starting this year, any, any time between now and July the 2014, Oh, one time just for one this One time year. for just for this year. And we need to include the idea that we will do student scholarships and we will also accept in kind of some kind in place of dollars. Right. Okay. Okay. And right. I'll make a form that's a membership form. Uh, great. And Nathan will put it on the website. Okay. Can I, can, all right, were we done with that then? That's we were getting ready to vote. You made vote. a motion, right? Yep, and Brett made a second. Brett seconded. Any further discussion? Is I'm that favor. discussion? I'm in favor. Yeah. Okay, there's no further discussion. Everyone in favor again, yeah. please? Okay, anyone opposed? Same sign. Passes unanimously. Yay. Right. This is not on the agenda, but come, I, I'd like to make a comment. You know, there for a while, everybody that was attending, we were throwing in anywhere from five or ten bucks in the pot. Mm -hmm. And then we, we accomplished something. We got up the money to do something. I forget the what lawyer. it was. With the lawyer. lawyer. Mm -hmm. And we stopped. Had, had we continued that, we would be a little bit ahead of where we're at. And it wouldn't really have hurt us, most of us. Mm -hmm. If and we'd have been pitching in five dollars every right. time we got, you're right, Gary. So I would suggest that you know those of us that are here regular, we're committed to this organization. So let's let's start the next meeting. Let's start throwing in five or ten bucks, whatever we can afford. If you can't afford it, don't have any cash this meeting. No big deal. It's not a requirement, but let's well, sort of. you, me, and Brett just spent 150 Yeah, you just did. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, but. I but you know, 70, but I paid the commission. So. Right. Yeah, right. right, you just paid 263 so yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a good idea. Do you want to motion or something, or you just want to write it down in the minutes if that's a suggestion? Yeah, well, I hate to make yeah, that a not, vote. Let's not even put it in a minute. Yeah, I hate let's, to just do, let's just start doing it. Just do it. I hate to make it a motion because yeah. that means it's like everybody feels obligated. Right. And I'm doing this, and time and money for this organization is something that I'm developing more and more of a passion for. So let's just whoever can and we're going. Right. We, can so we got one more money out. Okay. Board insurance. Uh, Dave looked at quotes and came up with around, I think it was 900 bucks per year with Beehive, which is one of the groups that George, the National River Network recommended. They can do 550 a year. And it appears to be the same kind of insurance. They all do a million dollar coverage. It's for directors and officers, employees, even volunteers. I uh, believe it would cover the canoe race event. Probably not. Uh, we can double check, but I think it actually would. Okay. Right. Because DNO insurance typically covers different types of liability than. It's not yeah. just DNO insurance, it includes DNO insurance. Okay. okay. And it's recommended by the National River Network. That's how we found it. I have 
talk directly to the insurance agent at Beehive and uh, all they need for a go ahead is 550 bucks. So, <laughs> not today. <laughs> so there are two questions here. One is, is that what we want to buy? Which we could decide today. And the other one is, where are we going to get the money, eh? If, it, if, it's, if it's liability, Dino, and Umbrella, that sounds like a great bargain to me. I think it is. Maybe we could take some of the proceeds from the, from the paddle race. race. From the paddle race. So it sounds like we have a couple of action items here. I should make sure I get you the details of what it really is and to, and to everyone. You just send it to everyone, yeah. I think I already did, but I'll send it again. And we could probably go ahead and decide that if, if this is what we want, so say that's what we want. And we will attempt to raise the funds, for example, if there's enough proceeds from the committee race. Okay. Or membership. You know, or now membership. we're going to start getting members. Maybe sure. people will give be a $100 member, and then we'll have, we only need five people like that. Or maybe somebody's going to reach into his pocket right now, and, you know, I don't know. <laughs> We've no, given them such, such <laughs> great entertainment. Right. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Brad. Thanks, Thanks Brad. for everything you've done. Do we have a motion for that somewhere at the BSC meeting? Yes. Do we have a motion that the 550 ah, for the BMB and O and whatever it is is what we think we want? That's what we think we want, but we want to review the policy yeah. first, please. We don't need a motion. All right. For that. Yeah, fine. Okay. Alrighty, bye. Thanks for asking. Thank you for having me. Yeah, definitely. Well, I'm going to be there. I can hardly wait. Right. And actually, I can need to send it around. Yeah, he's that one. The pressure on the DNO insurance was if we decided to do the appeal, which we've decided we don't want to do, so there's no current time pressure at all. It would be nice to do it soon. Okay. Yes. Well, I, I, just to make sure I'm clear, John, on that uh, insurance, mm -hmm. that'll cover DNO plus our monthly outings in any event. I believe it will. That's, that's okay. what Brett wants clarified. I think it will, yeah. but I'll send around the details and we can check the double check to be sure that it does. Okay. Awesome. Uh, can, can I ask a question? Certainly. From something someone said, mm -hmm. did I get the impression you need a boat to be a member? No. 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 But, no. no. but to go on an outing, mm -hmm. you need a boat. Ah. Because I gave my boat and my raft to the Boy Scouts. No. Not a, no. You don't no. have to have a boat to be a member. No. Well, one of the, usually we have one. We, we, we decided. Uh, we decided a while back. I went boat bought a canoe, but. We, we decided that, you know, we come in here and we have organizational meetings and we know what we're trying to, you know. We still do it okay, guys? Mm -hmm. yes, okay. Yeah. But we decided to have a monthly outing on our watershed so we can have a little fun too in addition to sitting around having meetings. Well, and to get people and involved. Pull people in. Who are outdoors people, and what we're trying to do is watershed education, and what a better way to educate people than to get them out onto the rivers. And I forgot something under the 501c3 item, sorry. So could we hop back to that? Yes. Now, ideally, we want to get our own 501c3 number. We have, do have a time constraint on that because to file the letter of intent from Ben and Jerry's, we must do it by the end of March, which ends in about two weeks. I don't know if the IRS is going to move that fast even if they send the money right now. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. So I am once again suggesting what I did back in November. Could we take Flint Riverkeeper up on their offer to do what they did for, speaking of the Ben Hill coal plant, you act as a pass-through so we can use the Flint Riverkeeper 501c3 number on the grant application. And that's what I just passed around is, and it's read a lot of copies of the actual agreement because we've all seen it before. I did grant 
copies, I believe, of all my suggested changes, which you can see are just basically wordsmithing. And what I'm proposing is that I send this diddly wordsmithing to Gordon Rogers and say, could you please make us a copy with these kinds of changes or any other you think are appropriate? And uh, unless he's got some radical different changes that we proceed to make that agreement so that we can do use their 501c3 member. Uh, yes, I'll make that a motion, John. Do whatever you got to do to get the grant application in. You got to use theirs, and we don't have ours. Go for it. Right, we have a motion. We have a second. Second. Excuse me. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm a lawyer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're going to use someone else's money for contributions no, no, you're collecting. No, no, someone no, no. else's number for contributions yes. you're collecting. Correct. No. For a, for a grant application. For a grant application. For a grant application. Yes. Then they own the grant. That's correct. And they're going to pass through the money to us. The agreement is that they will pass. That's what this is about. Okay. Just thought I'd ask. Right. And we trust Plant River people. And, you know, for example, Gordon Rogers and other is a frequent participant in these meetings and lives in Tipta. He has a long record. He was a little Satilla River keeper. And he's currently Flint River Keeper. Yeah. He was involved in Altamont River Keeper when he started. Yeah. He's probably the most respected River Keeper in the entire state. Being I, from Nevada, I respect handshake agreements. Right. <laughs> well, we, we have to have the document to make it work with the yeah. IRS and with the granting organization. Yeah. yeah. Just go to that. Okay. Yeah, that's what this is about. Well, I mean, if we can get ours, I would be, I would prefer that. Right. But, if we can't, then we need to try to go for the grant. Right. right. Yeah. If we had a, an agreement in place with the Flint River Keeper, then mm -hmm. we could use it if we needed yeah. it. Right. And if That's we don't it. need it, then we don't right. need it. Right. I'm with you. Okay. And we have a motion in a second. Is there further? Oh, I uh, just, just want to have a point. Is, uh, I can send this 